Work eight hours and sleep eight hours and make sure that they are not the same hours. I think I have more patience now than I did in the past. I've always believed that it's important to show a new look periodically. Predictability can lead to failure. In the history of America, we've never had an energy plan. We don't even realize the resources we have available to us. If you can provide the funding and you get the leadership, you'll have a competitive team. The cheapest natural gas in the world is in the United States. When you look at a commodities market, you meet hedgers and speculators. If you don't have one, you don't have a market. That's how it works. I don't care whether you use natural gas, ethanol, the battery. You can use anything, just so it's American. Natural gas is a better transportation fuel than gasoline, so if that's the case, it's cheaper, it's cleaner, and it's a domestic resource. Natural gas is the best transportation fuel. It's better than gasoline or diesel. It's cleaner, it's cheaper, and it's domestic. Natural gas is 97% domestic fuel, North America. Chief executives, who themselves own few shares of their companies, have no more feeling for the average stockholder than they do for baboons in Africa. You give them money where you want it. Try everything. Do everything. Nuclear. Biomass. Coal. Solar. You name it. I support them all. It has become cheaper to look for oil on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange than in the ground. Big Oil is a club, and they'll do everything to keep me out. Fundamentals make the market. Far too many executives have become more concerned with the 4PS pay, perks, power and prestige rather than making profits for shareholders. I have always believed that it's important to show a new look periodically. Predictability can lead to failure. If you don't have a refinery operating, it's hard to use oil that's available. We're going to have shortages and prices are going to go up. Gasoline is going to be extremely tight for us. You want to compete, and you want to compete at the highest level. I don't need any more money. On a scale from 1 to 10, my ambition is probably 11 or 12. To me, emails are a little bit frustrating. I think that the telephone is much preferred because you get the sound of the voice and the interest and everything else you can't see in an email. I don't go cheap on anything, but I'm not a shopper. If I want something, I look at it, decide what it is, but it will usually be the best product. I've got a pair of loafers that I still wear that I got in 1957. Never Googled myself. I use a computer for market quotes and news, but I've never Googled myself, but I have visited their headquarters. If somebody I don't like gets in the crosshairs, I pull the trigger, but I don't hunt for them. I'm amused when Congress tries to place the blame on somebody, but never themselves. I've never heard any of them ever say, I've made a mistake. I do. I say I called it wrong, but they just try to find somebody to blame.
I've got an opinion on everything. There is no free market for oil. I don't believe in a price on carbon because the government is going to control it and they're going to fail. I fracked over 3,000 wells in my life and never had a problem with an aquifer. I do believe that oil production globally has peaked at 85 million barrels, and I've been very vocal about it. And what happens? The demand continues to rise. The only way you can possibly kill demand is with price. So the price of oil, gasoline, has to go up to kill the demand. Otherwise, keep the price down, the demand rises. Natural gas is better distributed than any other fuel in the United States. It's down every street and up every alley. There's a pipeline. I don't like stock buybacks. I think if a company has the money to buy their stock back, then they should take that and increase the dividends. Send it back to the stockholder. Let them invest their money again from the dividends. I never did anything dishonest. I've been married over 50 years of my life. I say, you work eight hours, and you sleep eight hours, be sure they're not the same eight hours. I'm a Republican. I don't want to go to heaven and have to face my family up there and tell them I voted for a Democrat. The American people know something is wrong as far as energy is concerned. They don't think they are being told the truth. There's no question that tar sands in Canada are probably the largest source of oil available to the U.S. over a long period of time. There's as much oil in the tar sands, probably as there is in Saudi Arabia. The problem is, there's a huge capital requirement to develop that. I don't think for a minute we went to Iraq for oil. It just so happened that it had oil. But I think we'll come out of the Iraqi situation with a call on their oil at market price. I always saw myself as a large stockholder trying to make a difference. I wasn't raiding anybody. I was very fortunate in my gene mix. The gambling instincts I inherited from my father were matched by my mother's gift for analysis. As long as there's political uncertainty around the energy space, stock prices will come down. It's important to understand that oil and renewables do different things. Wind and solar are for power generation, so they don't replace oil. About 70% of all oil produced is used for transportation fuel. Renewables are good projects, but they don't get us off of foreign oil. You can't invest in natural gas on a daily basis. It's too volatile. But if you think of natural gas as a long-term holding, then you push your profit horizon out. A long-term time horizon would be at least two years. I'm focused on energy only, and I know what I'm talking about. And I don't want to be distracted on other things.